Now, the other thing that uh, many, of, many of our cities have to do, especially our big cities, the Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne and Perth, we have to be really vigilant about, about constantly improving travel times over the long term. That's just not just important because it creates a much better quality of life if people don't spend hours getting to and from work. But it's also really important for our international competitiveness. The Committee for Sydney com commissioned a survey on how to attract global talent uh, to Australia and what our, what, what our strengths and our weaknesses were. And one of the areas where we fall down is having, um, uh, you know, traffic congestion is definitely one of our, our drawbacks. Our, you know, lifestyle, you know, beaches, parks, harbour, all that stuff's fabulous. But we have a lot, we can, re there's a really a lot to do to improve our, our public transport network. And we have to understand that good transit systems, that is mass transit systems, are a fundamental part of competitiveness in any city with global aspirations. So I would beg industry groups, governments at all levels to be agnostic and, um, and um, open-minded about which transit systems or transport systems work in any context and be informed by the GDP impacts of particular modes of transport rather than be having a hard and fast preference for any transport or transit type. We need, we really need to deepen the productive centre of our cities and, um, and that is often driven by, um, by good transit.